What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Burnout Bobby. I finally made it down to Mexico. Could do my first couple hits, hopefully, with the uh, Vento, as you can see. Got it out. Made sure everything was good last night. So, what I'm gonna do now is put on the GoPro and see if I make a couple hits with it. I know y'all been waiting for this. It is hot out. All right, guys. Here we go. All right. While she's idling, I'm gonna plug in this wide band. I don't know if you guys can even hear me right now. It's so loud. So I'm gonna plug in the wide band so I can get an idea of what we're doing here fuel wise. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I have been waiting for this for a long time. Oh, she's rich. That's all right, it's very humid out here right now in Florida. I don't know if any of you around here live in Florida, but it is terrible here. Okay. I'm not gonna go wide open on this. I don't have the wheelie bars on and I really don't wanna lift this thing up. So I'm just gonna do about like a half throttle pass just to see what's going on. I don't even know if I'm gonna do a pass. I just, <laughs> I've heard in it from here to here. All right, here we go. Holy crap. Oh, I only got one rear drum brake. That makes it <laughs> really difficult. It's just bearing down to 10 0. So I think I have like a two. I have a two something main jet in here. Oh, we are low. I have a two something main jet in here. I need to go maybe to like a 200. water here. She is really rich. So you can probably hear it breaking up a little bit. It's just 10 0 10 1 10 0 Sounds really good though. Preload it up a little bit. Half throttle spinning. It wants to go. It wants to just go. I'll do another quick one. <laughs> oh my god. That was a little more than half throttle. That brake was not slowing me down at all. I should have just kept going down the concrete pad here, but I figured grass is a little bit softer. All right, I'm gonna bring this back, put the wheelie bar on it and see if I can give it a full hit. I now have the wheelie bar on, so I'm gonna go a little bit more wide open this time. I might do it on the side of the road. There's a little bit more real estate. First, let me get my helmet fixed.
Got some water here. I'm going to try to go around. do a three-quarter pass and then maybe a one hit back and forth and that's it holy crap that thing is fast just wants to spin she's low I keep forgetting I gotta trim some tabs off of this it's not ready yet do a quick one those in now it's time to fine tune it up next up is going to be put some more jets in there main jet um, and then ooh, new main jet and then uh, come back out tune it up again see what it's doing all right so that's gonna wrap it up for this video today um, I was really excited to get the bike out and riding and being able to at least make a first couple hits on it. Now that I know where I need to be with the air fuel wise, I did plan on making this video longer. I went back to the shop and I bought a couple extra jets and I was gonna rejet the carb. But unfortunately, it has been raining every day. And again, even now it's raining out. I just heard it thundering. So I'm gonna have to wait for there to be a break and it might have to be after work one day. I'll go down and start recording. I'll just do another video of me tuning the, uh, the vent over there and getting it dialed in. And then after that, I think I just have to find out, like, uh, I think Wednesday nights in Clearwater, they have a little drag event, so I'll take it down there, make some test passes, do eighth mile passes. My goal is I want to be in the eights, somewhere in the eights for the eighth mile. I don't care about the mile per hour, I just want to be able to get into the eights. If I can't do it on the motor with uh, race gas, 
then I'm gonna put that 20 shot of nitrous on there and then send it, send it to the moon, see what happens. But thank you for everyone that's been a part of this build. I gotta thank the Ruck Shop, of course, um, Bebe who helped me get the plastics in, everyone else that has been involved in the video, um, Bullock who built the motor, all the other companies I reached out to for help just with guidance with this because it's not a popular thing, it's not a big thing to do. So I had to reach out to companies that were in like Kissimmee, um, a couple companies that were in Puerto Rico, and they helped me big time with giving me the guidance I needed because otherwise this community is a very like hush-hush community. They don't like giving out secrets and they like to keep everything to themselves. So I'm sure there's a lot I'm still missing, but I'll learn throughout the way because I don't plan on being done with it. You know, I want to keep pushing it as far as I can go. I don't care about it as much as I care about the ruckus. So if it pops, it is what it is. It was an investment. I had fun doing it. So until the next video where I'll be tuning the Vento and taking it back out, see if I can get someone on board to, to race me in a car, maybe the Mini. But it's a far trip to Mexico. Remember that. I just came back. You can see I'm in different clothes. So all right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.